All right, what's up, guys? I'm Bryce. I'm Rob. And I'm Zaf. And we are Real Time. Today, we got Season 1, Episode 8 of Succession. This one's called Prague. As far as I'm aware, Prague is a place. It's a location. I think people go vacation there. Not sure where it's at. Don't ask me. But yeah, last episode was very, uh, very good. Obviously, like the group therapy that was supposed to happen didn't really get anything done during the actual, like, organized group therapy. They went to Connor's home in, I think, New Mexico. And... It was it was a shit show, honestly. Like they were starting to get somewhere, and the, the therapist dove head first in the pole and broke his teeth, so he was out of the picture quick. And then it was just kind of them to talk amongst each other. But then Shiv left and went to to see Nate and join that other campaign, which I guess I'll get into that one. But yeah, she's like apparently joining that guild, dude, for her political campaign, jumping ship from the girl she's currently with to go with this guy who she I don't think agrees with completely I think he's running for president too and we know how Logan has connections to the president it probably helps him out a lot with business and from what we've heard this dude's just gonna be completely against her family like he's gonna try to take them down so I don't know what she's thinking she was making some questionable decisions as is everyone else though yeah I mean she didn't just get there for um business yeah she actually got the business in the car uh that was absolutely insane i mean nate went and asked her to go back to his place his airbnb she said turn the car off and he stuck his hand in her pants that was very consensual too like that was cheating and i feel bad for tom because at the end too logan said like he's basically a little puppet um I don't know. I just don't know if he can accept it though. Like he's, I feel like he can, he'll, he would somehow be okay with her cheating because that's how he is. Like, I don't want him to be like that, but it's just a bummer. I, I'm sad she did that. That's, that's not cool. And now she's, like you said, working for the enemy against all of her family, not just Logan. So it's, it's in a bad direction for her. Well, I, c- just completely lost what little respect I had left for Logan last episode. Uh, pretty much mainly because of what he did to Kendall. The whole, like, I mean, him firing Kendall and getting rid of him from the board, that's one thing. But he released fake stories telling everybody that Kendall had relapsed and was back on drugs, which just was not true. And it, I think it just pushed Kendall to the edge. And, like, I mean, Kendall made his own choice, but that pushed him into the direction of actually doing drugs and uh i think the last scene we saw of kendall was like him on a mountain doing drugs so i feel like that is going to continue for at least the rest of the season and i don't know i feel like that is almost only logan logan's fault but especially with how he was like it was just part of the game like your son's addiction is just a game to you i don't that's crazy to think about so I really just want to see how each of these kids are doing post therapy session. All right, guys, that's pretty much it though. Before we get into this episode, if you guys have been enjoying our succession reactions, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe. Check out our links in the description. We got our Patreon, our Discord, our second channel, A Talk, all of our social medias, and the address to our PO box. But yeah, let's get into it. Season one, episode eight of Succession, Prague. Let's go. Greg, how to show him first? Office to himself. I'm out there. Not me. <laughs> You'll have 70 local TV stations. Bonnie and Sandy, your King Kong of local. The kid knows. The kid's smart. Good, right? Is it whiskey time? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's a good price. What the fuck's going on? He's selling me things I want at a fair price. So what's next? Palacio? <laughs> I like hurting human beings as much as the next guy, but dad, this is really fucking good. Walk him to the elevator and tell him four nine. What? No, that's it's insulting. Walk him to the elevator and tell him four nine. Jerry, you do it. You <laughs> fuck off. If you can't do it, fuck off. Alright. <laughs> text on your phone, you bandy fuck. Oh my God, dude, he's the worst. I know. He's the worst. Greg. Hey. Oh. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Dude, I don't suppose you know 
Kofi or Prague, do you? Uh, probably. Yeah, why? Uh, Tom Wom's bachelor party. Oh, Tom's bachelor party? You ever heard of these parties? Romboid? Bullshit. I'm telling you, I'm fucking cool. You don't understand. Oh. Are you done? You know who else will be there? Sandy Fernandez. Oh, that's the fucking big competitor. The guy that Stewie was meeting in secret. Mm -hmm. Come to the party. Get him to sell. And trust me when I say this, you will become the number one son. And one more thing. Bring Kendall, okay? Why? I don't think you should have him in a party setting. No, I feel like Stewie wants to take advantage of him. Is Stewie helping us? I don't think we know what Stewie's true motive is, because we still he's, don't know why he met with Sandy Furness. He's playing his own game. Yeah, just like everyone else. Hey, bro, can you turn up the bass in the back? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, he, he's going through a fucking crisis right now. Hey, how's it going? How's it going? Cool earrings, very uh, Bauhaus. Big fan of what you guys do, fucking sweet chill. Oh, I just, it, this, this, I can't. He makes me so uncomfortable sometimes. I don't need to hear the pitch. I've been through the deck, and uh, I get it. You buy a painting from uh, some art student in a basement, jack up the price, sell it to some Morgan Stanley sex pest, and you, me, and the student all get rich, right? So, like he's just absolutely insulting their work. Providing a platform to marginalize talent, the, the next generation Jeez. of artists. I'm just telling you how it works from the outside to the sharks. I got these sneakers. Oh. <laughs> I wanted to uh, make an impression. Uh, I want to leave this room right now. I don't know anything about art. What I do know is how to monetize your concept and achieve the scale it deserves. I'm a good guy who knows the bad guys. I've got reach and I will fight for you every fucking day. I like this, honestly. He turned it around. Yeah, I just thought of that, so apparently I do know a little bit about art. She likes it. Do I need to take off my dopey sneakers? No. Yeah, well, I, seriously, I'll throw them out the fucking window right now. <laughs> no, no, I'm, they're not I'm, bad. I'm taking them off. <laughs> I'm taking them off. <laughs> These are good. Yeah. Is he rough, think, rough start? Do you think he's high? I don't know. That's a big question, though. He's kind of acting like it. My, you know, my boss downstairs is waiting, and my boss upstairs is him. You know, so I've been here three and a half hours. <laughs> what do you think? It's the wheel. It's uh, the one that's. Is his computer heck. frozen? <laughs> it's a heck of a good head of hair on you. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> so what a thing to bring up. Boys, uh, oh, that's who Shiv is working for now. Yeah, Gail. Yes. He used to be Frank, Man, a what? cancer to American. A jack. Jackhole. <laughs> what a jackhole. Yeah, well, you just lost my vote. <laughs> <laughs> Do me a favor. I hate how he bends down like that. He's just insanely tall. I don't want him showing up dead at the bottom of some French bags pool. Would now be a convenient time to talk with you uh, about a, like a lateral shift in terms of my position? <laughs> I don't want to mention any names because I... But the culture there, it, it borders on the personally abusive. <laughs> Tom, Tom, yeah, just Tom. You take care of this and leave, and perhaps we'll talk. Okay? Done? We done? Muchly appreciated. <laughs> He's just saying shit. Muchly? <laughs> Muchly appreciated. <laughs> <laughs> that actually just sounds like something you would say. So. <laughs> Muchly appreciated. See. They're gonna have like a scandal come out, bro. Easily. No one's mind's getting changed, and the ones who threw the primaries and pivot to center. Except Gil won't pivot. I'll get him to pivot. Shiv will get him to do what she wants, cause that's what she does. Whoa. She's the puppet master, bro. I don't, I don't know what's gonna happen, you know, but um, I got a feeling it's liable to get a little disgusting. What? <laughs> I for one would never. It's one night. We're both adults, just. Enjoy yourself, okay? Oh, Shiv, honey badger. <laughs> God, I want to duck myself inside you right now. <laughs> oh, jeez. Dude, I read that before you said it, and I actually got chills. Because it was so good. <laughs> Ken? Okay. Yeah, sorry. Been a little busy revolutionizing tech financing. <laughs> on coke. On coke. Okay, so he is on drugs. What up? 
<laughs> he said, hey, hope not. What up? <laughs> <Great>. <laughs> His job's to make him not do anything. <laughs> and let's party. Down there. What? We're going to a party in the tunnel? Okay. Look how tall he is. <laughs> that, I, I love it. I love it. Oh, shit. Um, fellas. Sorry, it's actually a really tight guest list. <laughs> Who are these guys? Yeah. Matt, it's Matt and Jonas. The supply guys aren't on the... They flew in. I well, man. Relax, okay? We're gonna figure it out. Oh, God. Why are they going in the tunnel? <laughs> and Tom's friends aren't allowed to come. Fly guys? That's a fly guy code. Uh, okay, just leave your phones on and I'll call you. Alright. What a dickhead thing to do. Just t two of the guys. You can't come. Oh, whoa, whoa, dude. Oh my god, that's a dead rat. That's <laughs> a disaster on the footwear front. Can I change? Oh. Connor's wearing slippers because he thought they were going through TSA. Actually, he's, uh, he's got me overseeing the satellite launch out of Tanagashima. Oh, a spaceship? Yeah. Can't keep a good dog down, right, Ken? Oh, is this just that party that he was talking about? I don't remember. Stewie? Oh, yeah, probably. Is that all this is? Roman boy and guests? That is correct. Welcome to Romboy. Thank you. Yep, this is the party. Right, boys. Oh, God, what the fuck is gonna happen? Is it even a real party? Do you need anything tonight? Bottle of water, soft drink? <laughs> Uh, whatever. I was. I, I'm gonna have. I'm gonna be your mule. Actually, if you, you need anything what? like that, I need something a little off menu. See if you can find me some ketamine. Oh my okay. god. Well, that's the opposite of what Greg's supposed to be doing. What is this place? A setup. I think it's one of those weird, like underground rich parties or something. Wait, is this is this gonna be an orgy? No. <laughs> this is not gonna be an orgy, Greg. Right. Is it gonna be? Is it gonna be like a little bit of an orgy? <laughs> <laughs> Connor at a party. Oh, people and Connor. Does that mean we were able to fuck? Yeah. Hey, Ken. What do you think of the pussycat? Want it? Uh, no, not me. Business is my fucking. Great. I'll find you a Bloomberg terminal to stick your dick in. <laughs> Business is my fucking. Hey, but look, there's areas though, right? Neutral areas in terms of it not being, you know, compulsory to do sex stuff. <laughs> Angela. Who's Angela? Angela. Angela. Yo. Dust. Oh, oh part, the shit. Art girl. Yeah. Here we are. In a fucking uh, warehouse in Sunset Park. Whatever. Yeah. I feel like this is synchronicity. I, I'm super excited. Yeah. Totally. Me too. <laughs> Weird. You know, I was thinking maybe one wine, one water is like an informal <laughs> rule for the group. <laughs> <laughs> I should talk to some girls. Hey, little tip. Ask them where they were on 9 11. Well, if they don't know, they could be under 21. Bro. Well, Shiv gave me a hall pass. I'm gonna stand, I'm blow my nose like multiple times. <laughs> <laughs> and what Shiv has that, like, that same arrangement? She's an adult too, so. What? No, no. Uh. I mean, I don't know, Greg. It's not a competition. No, no, I'm, that's, that's cool. I'm sure you guys have it all figured out. Romy, what is. <laughs> no, no, now Tom's gonna be in his own head. How would you like to be all the way out? Half a bill for your share of waste stuff. Is this for real? Yeah. Who's the go to? Freaking Sandy? Great. So listen, there's a part two to this. Why don't we talk this over with Sandy? Sandy Furness? These bathrobes are nice. Oh, mm, she definitely does have a hall pass. <laughs> that is not aware that it's a hall pass. You gotta think, Tom, if she's willing to give you one. He probably has one too. The reality is, he's already in on Waystar. As in? As in, Sandy's me. What? And Sandy. We're like a single entity, like a creature from mythology. So if he got Kendall's shares, he would have a lot of ownership. What's going on? Dude, are you pitching? You just pitch? Where'd you spring from, Heidi? Don't stop. I want to hear the pitch. I might invest. I am fully authorized to negotiate on behalf of Logan. Yeah, he's doing satellites like it's uh, 1985. Dad's got him holding the plastic steering wheel in the back and telling him he's driving it. Oh, God. Whether he's adjusting to his medication. Oh. You know? How about you fuck off back to your little gangbang? See this? How he talks to me? He used to lock me in a cage. What the fuck? No, that's a, that's a true story. I had to go climb in this big dog cage in the kitchen and wait for someone to come collect me. Why are we trauma dumping to Sandy? That was insane. You're acting insane. Look, so you just want me to pretend that none of that happened? What happened? 
None of it happened. Dog pound didn't happen. I never made you eat dog pound. There was a bowl that was filled with chow, and I couldn't leave the cage until I finished it. It was a game. It was a game. You enjoyed it. That doesn't sound like a fun game. Sure, I remember a game you used to play. Well, okay, so he did. He used to lock me in a fucking cage. Sure, the big cage, yeah, in your mother's place. The laundry room in Cheltenham. Cheltenham, like No, you liked it. <laughs> you asked to be put in that cage. Oh, okay. Well. I think you enjoyed it. <laughs> okay, so I asked to eat dog food? It was chocolate shake, I think. That's why Dad sent me away to St. Andrews. No, wrong. Dad sent you to military school because you asked to go. Oh, you're full of shit. Hey! What what is I, happening? I don't know who to believe. Those are two totally different stories. And these are your friends, right? Yeah, you'd all be welcome anytime. Here, <laughs> post apocalypse. Connor just only talks to young women. <laughs> There's probably not a lot of old women in the place. That's fair. Old woman. Hey, Tom? Did you see Kendall? No. I think Tom was getting it on. Or no, no. Who was that? <laughs> I'm just remembering him earlier going, are we are we allowed to fuck in here? <laughs> if I, for instance, you know, if I if I touch a boob, do you do you grab a dick? <laughs> Tom, I can't negotiate right now, but we know, right? We just you know. Sure. We know. <laughs> oh my god, Tom, Tom, Tom. I heard from the girls the dust thing with the art. Yeah, I, I I know. I saw them. It's locked down. Oh, well, they wanted they wanted you to know they loved you in the room. Frank. But. Frank. I just spoke to the girl. We're good. You know, seriously, they, they love you in the room. Will you stop telling me they love me in the fucking room? <laughs> Can we talk for a second? Can we do this another time? I just got off the phone to Frank. Kendall, don't embarrass yourself, bro, please. I, I shouldn't be telling you this, but I'm about to land a chunk of seed capital the size of fucking, like, Idaho. So, I mean, whatever it is you need, I can make it happen. <sighs> okay? Yeah, okay. Okay? I'm sick. There's something I'm not seeing. It's the name. Which? You mean dust? Roy. Roy. Kendall Roy. It'd be like I was marrying Hitler and then I'd get to be what? Mrs. Hitler? I'm not a Roy. Mmm. Okay. You are. You're Kendall Roy. Like, you don't know what I am. Consensus says you're a coked up prick who can't shit straight. Ooh. Hey, listen. Fuck off! Ooh. What is he thinking, bro? Mmm. Where you at, Greg? Your wife very tragically took her own life 18 months ago. Jeez. Poor Mr. D.T. Oh, but it hasn't is... been long, and I guess that what some people may ask is what could possibly have caused... Bro, what the fuck? It must be incredibly difficult for you as a person who has had to deal with rumors swirling about... Mm, I feel like he's gonna go ballistic. ...this game of pretend sympathy where you're just trying to get your viewers to ask what sort of guy has a wife who kills herself. That is... You want to make this personal? Let's talk about Logan Roy. Oh, here we go. If you want to know about a person, look at his relationships with his family. His only daughter mm. has come to work for me. What does oh, that tell you oh about God. the man? So, What's he doing? you don't want to take any more questions, is that Certainly it? Certainly not from you. Thank you. <laughs> that was so bad. <laughs> that was atrocious. Hey. Stop him, Greg. Kenny, your dad is, I think, a little worried about you, is all. I'm about to do these four lines of cocaine if you want to stop me be my guest no so forcing greg to do it so he no. doesn't oh my god oh no greg on coke's gonna be crazy i know okay 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 stop stop okay I'll give it to me <laughs> oh, greg no i want to see him going around i want to see him get laid he's gonna be absolutely <laughs> nuts go for it greg suck on those big white dicks you fucking pervert <laughs> Did he do it all? Yeah. I need to, should I puke? Not unless you can puke up your entire bloodstream. <laughs> oh my god, man. That's so I hope I'm drunk. I <laughs> oh my god. You do, your heart is going to be pumping so hard, it'll probably bring you back to life. <laughs> Tom, Tom's the worst. Buckle up, fucklehead. <laughs> Tom's not helping. <laughs> Making it worse. Buckle up, fucklehead. Tell them not to speak about my family, not on my network, not on any network ever again, or I'll end them. Mm. I'm a 
bad father? How dare he? He's a bad fucking husband. He killed his wife. Jeez. That's a brutal thing to say. I want to talk about you properly. Come in. I'm tired of this. Come to the company. Yeah. I always thought you were the smartest. Oh, so that's why you tried Kendall and Roman first. Maybe I should just let them come for you. Like who? Like, I don't know, but I hear things. I wouldn't take this lightly, Shiv. He's a scary fucking guy. Absolutely not. What has he if heard? The way things are going to go, then fuck off, Dad. About Man. cheating or what? I'm truly sorry. Oh my god. Is he going to start attacking her? Or he having was... metal? Metal? Like knives? No. Uh oh. Not Game of Thrones. <laughs> I also don't know why I said metal. Wait, her? That one? Yeah. We were talking for like 20 minutes about financial derivatives and she just asked me. Yeah, fuck yeah. I'd be all over that. I'd like. <laughs> <laughs> His approach was insane. When do you think I can talk to him? I'd really love to hear something to take home. Uh huh. Roro. Can you just be fucking cool, man? Maybe get a slider. Ask if you can, like, stick your finger up someone's ass, alright, buddy? I thought he told him that he can talk to him about it. You think that I can't make your life difficult, but word in the right ear, and I could be your migraine, motherfucker. I came here to talk to the old man on your word, so make it happen. Okay. Yeah? Alright. Cool. Let's go, Roman. Stand up for yourself, Romulus. I tried to hide, but it finds you. <laughs> Wherever you hide, the party finds you. He's speeding right now. Sir, this is your final warning. Your friend here keeps telling people he's in love with them and it's making people <laughs> Maybe I should go apologize. No. Give her a hug. No. Oh, Connor, you're so weird. Dude, that was insane. <laughs> oh, yeah? yeah? I'm touching her and then she goes down on me. And then I splooge in her mouth. <laughs> and get this. She kisses me and puts it back in my mouth. And I <laughs> <laughs> Which the con? <laughs> oh my god! I can't remember what it is right now. So fucking hot. <laughs> <laughs> he swallowed your own gum. Greg, I'm having the time of my life. Nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a... Sw swallowed what? The cum? Which? The cum? <laughs> <laughs> you swallowed your own leg. <laughs> yeah, that, dude, so fucking hot. That is insane. He was asking about the dog pound. You got kind of riled up. He enjoyed it, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, you did too. Dad's theory was you got two fighting dogs, you send the weak one away. You punish the weak one. Then that is a fucking... Crazy way to think about your family. Oh, my sons are just a couple of dogs, and I send the weak one away. Nah, keep your money. Keep your money. Bring me in. We do this properly. We go fuck my dad together. What? Uh... Take over. Leverage buyout. Hostile. Stewie might not like it. Fuck Stewie. Stewie. Stewie will follow the money like a dog in a cartoon. <laughs> are you sure you got the stomach? I'm good. Damn. Shit. That's pretty lit. I kind of like it, to yeah. be honest. I just don't want Roman to get fucked over. Like, everyone's playing their own game. I, I feel like everyone is against each other in some ways. So I don't mind Kendall making that move. Especially to go after his dad. He couldn't catch his breath. Listen, we've been advised... And we are really sorry. But I don't think it's a good idea for him to come to the wedding. <laughs> this is him getting back at her. He really is sorry. Yeah, me too. Oh, it seems fine, right? Yeah, I mean, he's just part of the game. But there's potential. It could happen. Well, fuck, I'm excited. This is great. This is... You're upside. Awesome, dude. <laughs> nope. Nope. Jerk him around for a bit, then throw him back. Yep, that's about what I expected. What? <laughs> <laughs> Q 
two dogs in a cage. <laughs> what we're looking at right now. Asshole. If the car doesn't come soon, I'm just gonna swim home, I think. Yeah, it was yeah, it's pretty wild. <laughs> It's cool though, because it's like I didn't cheat. No. Just all the sperm stayed in my own body. <laughs> <laughs> no. What's happening? Where's the car? Arriving in five. Congratulations, Tom. I hear you swallowed your own mud. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> Look at Ken. Kendall over there by himself. Yeah. A little separation. Gosh, God. just really thought about swallowing your own lab. That's just foul. So, what happened? <laughs> tell, tell her, Shiv. Or tell her, Tom. Like this and that. <laughs> Normal stuff. She's supposed to do what, Tom? Oh. No, Shiv, you. I thought you said. Oh, oh honey, I'm kidding you. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, Frank. Those girls from the art thing, I want you to put the word around. They're junkies. Jesus. They're, They're shooting seed capital straight to their arms. Okay, Logan Roy. Exactly what your dad would do. Because no, I'm not I'm not Roy. Not Roy? <laughs> Except that's exactly what I fucking am. Look at him. I'm looking. <laughs> looks like Batman. Is he at? It looks like he's at Royco or whatever. Waystar. Waystar. Or maybe this is... Gentlemen. Shall we? He's at Sandy's place. Yep. Ugh, I just want to say this show just has me by the balls right now. <laughs> I mean, it is... Getting, These past two episodes. They're getting... It's getting good. Yeah. I just... I It's it's nice when they're like... I feel like it's nice because they were at Osterwitz. Now they're in this different location. It's just like switching it up and it feels fresh and good. And I'm just loving it right now. I mean, it was a crazy serious episode and funny at the same time. Probably the funniest bit ever. Yeah, I was gonna. I don't know if it can get funnier than than what happened to Thomas yeah. episode. That might be peak, honestly. <laughs> it was awesome. Might be the climax. <laughs> and it was in well. I think the biggest thing though is Kendall doing this deal with Sandy, and I think he's kind of fucking over Stewie in the process. I don't know who Sandy, like, I mean, Sandy could just be fucking them both over, like, I don't know. But Kendall is in his, he's definitely in his villain arc. I feel like everyone is just a villain, though, so. I mean, I honestly want to say that Roman is my favorite character. I feel bad for him hearing about, like, the the dog pound stuff and those, and uh, Sandy not taking him seriously. Like, he's trying his hardest, and I hope he gets like i hope he gets what's good for him um i hope he somehow finds a way to get on top of his game and like be on top with everyone else too i feel like roman's problem is that he's the one who is like most attached to his dad i mm -hmm. think like shiv and kendall both like bud heads with him and compete with him Honor does his own thing. He just is so far removed from all the business. He doesn't care. Roman is like, I think he's the youngest. And he's just, he defends his dad more than anybody else. And like, we saw it with him choosing to like not vote for Kendall. And I don't know. I think that's his biggest weakness right now is that if he could separate himself from Logan and like have his own ideas, maybe do things for himself. I feel like he actually could compete with the other other uh siblings for sure but um yeah that's holding him back right now but I'm, I'm really interested to see what else logan is going to do to sort of get back at shiv we saw that he or he had marcia tell her that they will not be attending the wedding i mean that's that's a huge deal uh for the public as well as if it's gonna affect shiv mentally for sure but i feel like that's not the only thing he's got planned he's I could see him spilling something or having someone spill something about her little affair with Nate. I feel like the um, Shiv, even after just right after she heard that news, she's in like panic mode now. She's losing sleep. Like, 
It definitely, Logan's words definitely got to her very fast. Yeah, I mean, one of my favorite things I think about these episodes is like, I feel like each one, or at least a lot of them so far, have had like one big event that happens per episode, whether it's like a big dinner or like the Reckney Ball, now this, the group therapy. It's always like kind of focused on one big thing where everyone's involved. And I've really been enjoying that. I think this this was probably my favorite episode so far. Just, I thought it was hilarious. Either this or last one. They were both definitely the top two in my opinion. But just seeing everyone like Tom at this party going crazy with his hall pass, which it's so funny seeing him feel so guilty about it, even though Shiv is in bed with her co-worker it's it's such a weird uh dynamic and it kind of does lead back to what logan was saying how uh, tom's just like easy like he's just he literally whatever whatever shiv says he'll do if she said you can't have a hall pass but i can he'd be like well okay i understand that so then also uh greg just chasing around kendall the whole party unsuccessfully (laughs) to not do drugs then doing drugs himself I wonder if like Gray's gonna lean more into that lifestyle because like everyone is doing stuff I feel like and if he's around them more I, I could see him kind of like joining in but also I with uh, Greg I hope he uh, does get some type of promotion here soon he talked to Logan about that I mean I don't know how serious Logan was about like if you <laughs> keep Kendall alive I'll give you it but I don't know if that means uh, Logan's still thinking. It seems like he's still thinking and caring about Kendall a little bit, right? If that was a point he tried to make to to Greg, right? Like, I don't want him to, to come home in a coffin, pretty much. So, I mean, that's the best you're going to get out of Logan. He's not going to say anything else about, like, how he cares for them or anything. Just make sure he doesn't die. That's, like, the sweetest thing he'll say, probably. So, that's a little bit of light. But at the end of the day, Kendall is here about to steal the company from him. So... All right, guys, that's pretty much it, though, for this episode. If you guys have been enjoying our succession reactions, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe. Check out our links in the description. we got our Patreon, our Discord, our second channel, Atalk, all of our social medias, and the address to our PO box. But yeah, we'll catch you guys next time for Season 1, Episode 9 of Succession. Peace out.